Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I'm just going to show you the swarm box that I'm creating today. Uh, what I did was, I actually, I can't show you all of it because I actually forgot my lemongrass oil, which I'm going to put in as an attractant. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up anyway, and uh, I have no doubt bees will come to it. But we'll set up that lemongrass oil as well just to get some uh, some additional attractant. But I guess they say it's uh, it simulates a queen pheromone, but... I'm not sure why you need a queen pheromone in a swarm box when usually bees are swarming with the queen. So if somebody could answer that for me, that would be great. But what I did was I took this uh, five frame traveling nuke with uh, this lid on it. I drilled a hole through the lid because I'm going to screw the lid shut. Because if not, it might be difficult to keep it uh, in place. And uh, I've got five frames in here. Two frames are completely empty. One frame is partially drawn out with some honey in it. You can see it was starting to be a rat's nest in my garage, so I decided to move it out. And you know what, I'm going to probably remove all that debris as well, because I don't know if the bees will like that, but we'll get rid of that garbage. And leave the honey in. Now the honey will probably cause some robbing. There's another partially drawn frame here. So, you know, it's not, it's not like the penthouse condominium, but it's a pretty, pretty darn good new house, I'd say. If I were a bee, I'd look at this. And, uh, and again, yeah, the robbing, I don't particularly have a problem with because, uh, you know, bees will rob. The, it's going to be in close proximity to, the, to my hives. So most of the robbing will be done by my own bees, that type of thing. But, uh, but if some yellow jackets get in there, well, the bees are just going to have to compete for business, I think. Gets them knowing that there is some, some food there and there is a reason for them to use this swarm box in case they want to swarm. And again, I, I'm not necessarily thinking that at this point, it's, it's late in June. I don't necessarily think it'll be my bees that swarm into this, but if I can catch a swarm, that'd be great. If not, I'll have one set up for the spring. Or I may actually relocate this box as well to, uh, to a different area so that it won't be my bees coming to it. Maybe it will be a, a set of foreign bees that might want to swarm to it. So anyway, we'll see how it sets up. And then uh, what I'll do is come back tomorrow and put the attractant in it. I've got a tree, a small tree right close to my hives that I'm going to set it up in, but it's going to require some work and some ingenuity, which hopefully I can, I can figure out. See you in a sec. Okay, so here's the location that I decided for my swarm box. It's in a young tree. And uh, because of that, it's in a bit of partial shade, which I don't think is ideal. I think ideal is full sun and south facing. And also because it's in a small tree, you can see how much it's swaying in the breeze, right? It's pretty windy today, and I don't think bees would like that. So I think what I should probably end up doing is just building a stand here. This is about the six, six and a half foot mark. And it's basically in an immediate proximity right across the front face of my hives. So again, just trying it out. I'm not overly optimistic that I'll catch a swarm or that my bees will swarm for that matter, but I'm just going to try it out, leave it for a couple of weeks. I will come back and put some uh, lemongrass oil in it for scent and see if that gets any action. There's plenty of honey in that hive, so I think it will get some robbing uh, of, from bees, my honeybees, other honeybees, probably some yellow jackets as well. But hopefully they'll keep the ants out and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's more or less an experiment on my part to see what happens and just to, to be prepared with a swarm box in case uh, in case uh, I need to catch a swarm you never know thanks for joining me